Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So we are looking at sampling and we have looked at uh, multiplying by an impulse uh, train which we termed as ideal sampling. Uh, in this module let us start looking at a different technique for sampling uh, which is termed as pulse amplitude modulation. All right. So we want to start looking at a different technique for sampling which is basically your pulse amplitude pulse amplitude modulation that is pulse amplitude modulation which is PAM. Okay. So, we want to look at pulse amplitude modulation. So far we have looked at sampling in which we have a signal correct and that is sampled using an impulse train correct using a train of impulses where each impulse is at a multiple NTS and the impulse is scaled uh, by the impulse is scaled by uh, the sample the value of the signal at NTS. So, we have this impulse for instance at 0 this is scaled by m of 0, this is impulse at T s which is scaled by m of T s, this is at 2 T s which is scaled by m of 2 T s minus T s which is scaled by m of minus T s, this is m of minus 2 T s at minus 2 T s and so on. So, this is your basically impulse ideal sampling okay or basically impulse based sampling now what we want to do now is we want to generate rather than using impulses, we want to consider pulses. So, we still have pulses, so we are sampling still at uh, every NTS. So, our sampling frequency, so let us say we have this signal and rather than having impulses, we have a pulse. So, for instance, at 0, we have a pulse of height m 0 and duration t. At T s, we have another pulse of duration t and height m T s. At uh, 2 T s, we have another pulse. This is at 2 T s, this is naturally 2 T s plus T, we have another pulse of height 2 T s. Similarly, at uh, minus T s, we have a pulse which is minus T s from minus T s to minus T s plus T, this is of height m of minus T s. So, what you can see is basically at every so, we still have pulses at each uh, uh, pulses at each multiple of NTS. So, rather than using impulses, we are using pulses of duration t. So, we are sampling by pulses. So, this is basically sampling using pulses of duration t rather than using pulses right not impulses using pulses of duration t at each uh, 
NTS. So, the sampling frequency is the same, sampling frequency is still your the sampling frequency is f s, the sampling time equals or sampling interval equals T s equals 1 over f s. So, this is still the same, but rather than using impulses, we are using pulses and what are we do? We have the pulse at every n t s. So, the nth pulse is from n t s to n t s plus t. So, the pulse is of duration t all right and the height of the pulse corresponds to the sample or corresponds to the sample value or corresponds to the signal value at m of n t s. So, each pulse is the nth pulse is from n t s to n t s plus t correct and uh, basically what is happening and the amplitude of the pulse pulse equals value of signal at m NTS amplitude of the pulse amplitude of pulse at NTS is basically the value amplitude of the pulse at NTS is the value of the signal at MTS. Okay. So, that is what we have and you can clearly see basically what we are doing is we are sampling the signal you can also see that you are sampling the signal at each at each NTS and holding for duration that is the pulse duration T. So, what we are doing is we are basically sampling at each NTS and we are holding that sampling value concept. Previously, it was simply an impulse which was momentary, it was just for that instant NTS. Now, we are sampling at each NTS and holding it constant for a duration t which is the duration of the pulse. Therefore, we are sampling at each NTS and holding the sample value constant. for duration t. So, we are sampling it and holding it and therefore, this is also termed as a sample and hold sample and hold operation. So, this is also termed as a sample and hold. Okay. So, what we are doing is we are sampling and we are holding it for a duration t and you can see this duration of pulse t is much less than t s. So, we have t which is our pulse duration, this is our pulse duration and t s is basically your sampling interval. and T s is basically the sampling interval and what we desire is we desire that T is much less than T s. So, we would like to have this quantity T to be much less than much smaller than uh, the sampling interval T s. So, this duration of the pulse this pulse duration T should be much smaller than T should be much smaller than the sample. So, the pulse is confined to a 
relatively small portion of the sampling interval and the smaller uh, the duration of the pulse the more precise your sampling is all right so the pulse is simply spreading it's a sample and hold operation so it's basically spreading it's spreading the value of the signal over the duration of t all right and this is also known as uh, pulse amplitude modulation so this is also known as flat top sampling because you are employing flat top pulses so each pulse is a flat top pulse so we are employing flat top pulses so this employs what are known as flat top pulses hence this is also known as flat top sampling hence this is also known as flat top sampling flat top sampling since we are employing flat top pulses is also known as flat top sampling what we are also doing is we are modulating the amplitude of each pulse remember we have a pulse at each nts that is scaled by the value of the signal at nts that is mnts times the pulse that is each pulse is of unit amplitude let us say and it is scaled by mnts that is the value of the signal at mts so this is the pulse whose amplitude is mod being modulated by the values of the signal at the sampling, sampling instances. So, therefore, this is also termed as pulse amplitude modulation. So, you can see that at each NTS, if you look at this, basically what you have is this is the pulse at 0, correct? This is your pulse at TS. MTS, this is your pulse at M2TS and so on and also this is your pulse at minus TS and so on. So, what we can see is that is that amplitude of the pulse of pulse at NTS is modulated is modulated by signal value at NTS. So, we are taking M N T S multiplying that by the pulse H let us say H or pulse waveform is P shifted by T S. This is your pulse which is shifted to N T S. So, you are taking the pulse shifting it to N T S modulating it or multiplying it by the value of the signal at N T S that is M of N T S that is what we are doing. So, this is also termed as pulse amplitude <coughs> modulation this is also termed as pulse amplitude modulation and simply denoted by pam pulse amplitude modulation okay so pam stands for pulse PAM also stands for pulse amplitude modulation and it is also so this is known by three names basically what we have seen it is known as basically uh, sample and hold right sample and hold type of sampling flat top sampling or also pulse amplitude modulation all right the sampling frequency is the same fs sampling duration that is the interval between the samples consecutive samples is same that is ts which is 1 over fs the sample is now of is not an impulse anymore it is a finite duration t 
right capital T which is much smaller than T s which we expect to be much smaller which practically should be much smaller than the sampling interval T s. Okay? All right? So, that is basically your uh, pulse amplitude modulation where we are sampling using rectangular uh, pulses and the amplitude of each pulse at NTS is modulated by the value of the signal that is MNTS at the sampling instant MNTS. Okay? Now, if we look at the pulse, the pulse as we have already seen is basically the pulse as we have already seen is basically uh, it is basically of height 1 of duration t. So, this is my pulse, pulse let us say we denote it by p t equals uh, it has duration it equal to 1, I can represent this pulse as 1 if 0 less than equal to t less than equal to 1 and 0 and 0 otherwise. This is my this is my pulse that I am using for I am sorry 0 less than height 1 and dura, uh, duration of capital T and height equals 1 and this is less than or equal to 1 if 0 is less than or equal to t and uh, 0 otherwise. And now, what you are seeing is at the mth sampling time, we have at mth sample or at nth sample, we have you have m of n t s sample at n times the sampling instant multiplied by the pulse shifted by n t s correct. This is the pulse shifted by n t s. This is your sample at or signal value at n t s. This is your pulse shifted by this is the pulse shifted by NTS. So, you have each sampling instant, you have the pulse, you are shifting the pulse, scaling it by the amplitude of the signal at the sampling instant. All right? And this we are doing, so this is similar to the impulse sampling, where instead of, uh, where previously in the impulse or uh, ideal sampling, we have the impulse, all right? Shift, impulse shifted to every NTS and it is impulse scaled by M NTS. Now, instead of the impulse, we have the pulse. So, the pulse shifted to NTM. Okay. So, what we have here is basically pulse shifted to NTS scaled by MTS and then the sum of all these pulses that is our pulse stream. So, our pulse stream or pulse amplitude modulated stream is basically n equal to minus infinity m of NTS p of t minus NTS. This is our let us say this we call it as our or m f of or m p of t which is our pulse amplitude modulated stream. This is our pulse amplitude modulated stream. This is our pulse amplitude modulated stream. pulse amplitude modulated stream or basically pulse amplitude modulated or PAM signal or you can call also call it as a pulse amplitude modulated, you can also call it as a pulse amplitude modulated signal. This is our PAM 
signal which basically a stream of pulses amplitude at each stream of pulses each pulse uh, pulse at every nts that is nth multiple of ts and its amplitude scaled by m of nts so this is the stream all right summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity m of nts times p of t minus nts where previously we had a uh, uh, modulated that is uh, scaled impulse train all right a train of impulses impulse at every nts with uh, with scaled by m of nts now we have pulse at every nts scaled by m of nts and naturally this can be expressed as now if you look at it you can think of this as basically at every ts correct at every nts uh, you can think of this as the original your original impulse stream convolved with the pulse because we have our original stream of impulses correct remember we have our original stream of impulses correct at T s minus T s and so on. We have original stream of impulses 0 to T s minus T s minus 2 T s and now what we are doing in addition we can convolve it with a I can convolve it with a pulse correct. So, if I convolve it with a pulse this impulse stream if I convolve it with the pulse will give me so I have the impulse stream or impulse sample stream I can represent it as impulse sample stream convolved with your pulse that is P, P t. So, our impulse sample stream or impulse sample signal is remember m delta t equals well summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity m of n t s into delta t minus n t s ok. Okay. Now, this is basically the convolution operator the star represents convolution. Now, I take this m delta t correct m delta t and convolve with ok take this m delta t con convolve with with p of t that is basically my substituting for m delta t that is basically my summation of n equal to minus infinity to infinity m of n t s m of n t s uh, into delta t minus n t s convolved with p of t. So, that basically gives me summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity m of n t s delta t minus n t s convolved with p t that is basically p of t minus n t s which is nothing but my m p of t that is nothing but my pulse amplitude modulated signal. So, this signal which is uh, basically m of n t s p of t minus n t s summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity m of t s n t s into p of t minus n t s this is basically my pulse amplitude modulated signal this is my or this is basically my PAM this is basically my pulse amplitude modulated signal or basically my PAM signal. Okay. So, therefore, we have derived the expression for the PAM signal what we are saying is. So, what we have seen is that basically rather than uh, ideal sampling 
of course, which is difficult to implement because one has to generate impulses, a train of impulses and train of impulses is impractical, right? Uh, is impractical to generate. So, one can replace them by pulses which are more realistic, a pulse which has a finite amplitude and finite duration, all right, a pulse of a certain height which has a finite duration, much lower than the sampling duration or we desire it to be as low, uh, much lower than the sampling interval that is the pulse of width capital T which is much less than the sampling duration, uh, sampling interval T s, all right. And therefore, now one can sample the signal at each T s multiple or each n T s and hold it for a duration of uh, T which is the duration of the pulse, all right. This is known as flat top sampling or also known as a sample and hold. And this can be represented as uh, analytically it can be represented as the convolution of the original impulse sample signal, although it is not uh, the operation that we are performing, it is not that the signal is the pulse amplitude modulator signal is being generated by first impulse sampling and uh, followed by uh, passing through a filter uh, with response given by the pulse shape, rather it is simply a representation. So, this flat top sampling operation can be analytically represented as the as basically uh, sampling or impulse sampling the original uh, message signal MT followed by passing through a filter with impulse response given by the pulse shape PT, all right. So, that gives us uh, basically the stream of pulses each uh, shifted to each NTS and scaled by the amplitude uh, or the value M NTS of the signal at the nth sampling instant. So, this is the pulse amplitude modulated signal and subsequently we look at the frequency response and also how to reconstruct the original signal from this pulse amplitude modulated signal. Thank you.